cheap games, Xbox Live and PSN codes, check out G2A in description and use the code ECHO at checkout. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is ECHO and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This video is actually interesting and it's in regards to the history of Minecraft console. These are the features that we've never had introduced or we've had removed over the past. And I'm hoping you do enjoy this because at this current time I don't have any news to share. 4J have been very silent, which is normally a good thing, um, and we do know they're working on a brand new master pack, but I'm pretty sure they're working on things past that as well. So if you guys do enjoy it, be sure to thumbs it up, it really does help me out. So I have five things I'm going to be sharing with you. Number one is hardcore mode. Hardcore mode is something I really do enjoy. If you don't know what it is, you have one life and one life only upon death. You can't get that world back. The world is deleted until you start a brand new hardcore adventure. Now the only reason I can think of hardcore mode not being introduced is to do with the host options. Now when someone creates a world, it's all down to the host. If the host leaves the game, the other players can't continue it. Which means if the host did die in hardcore mode, the world would be completely over. I think this is the only reason why it was never introduced, which again leads to adding servers or actually having the option to keep your world continued while other players can still enjoy it even if the host isn't online. So that's number one, hardcore mode. And I believe hardcore mode on PC was introduced when adventure mode was, and we got adventure mode around about title update 19. So who knows if it's gonna be introduced, I hope so. We do have the hard difficulty and we do have the UHC style, which means the only way to regen your hearts is by golden apples or by potions. Number two actually comes up every single update. The number one question I always get is in regards to command blocks. Now command blocks are moddable and accessible on Minecraft Xbox 360, meaning that you can mod them in the game. However, they're not accessible in the terms of typing commands in. Now Minecraft console does have commands, but these commands are hidden and they are shown to us as like host options such as disable rain, set spawn, etc. We have got a whole bunch of commands and I do expect that list to grow. However, someone did find on Minecraft Xbox 360 in TU25 that 4J introduced NBT tags. This is the ability to type in commands in a command block during a command block, whether it be forward slash summon, whether it be forward slash set spawn. I don't know if this was linked to the new commands, but I guess it's something we can kind of relate to. So yes, command blocks are in the game, they're accessible to be modded, but they're not usable in terms of how they are on PC Minecraft. Number three actually does link to number two, and that is to do with the undead horses. Again, undead horses are available on Minecraft Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, PS4, if you mod them in the game. The big question is, why would 4J introduce two things to Minecraft Console Edition? Number one is the undead horses and command blocks in general. Number two, why did 4J Zeros retexture all undead horses and all the command blocks in every single texture pack and every single masher pack, the command block and the undead horses are changed completely. There's something completely new. So I don't know if these are gonna be introduced in the future like I do talk about. What I would like though, is an undead horse specific spawn variant, meaning meaning that it could spawn in say one every 100 type of mobs naturally in Minecraft. Again, they're accessible by modding, but we wanna see them naturally in all versions of Minecraft and not have to be via modded abilities. Uh, and zombie horses and the undead horses, I think are possibly one of the greatest additions that have ever been made in Minecraft. So that is number three. Number four is actually the most interesting in today's video. I have actual proof that 4J did remove the voice from Minecraft console edition in title update 4 or title update 5 as you guys can see here in environment changes they removed the void by making it impossible to break the bottom slash top layer of bedrock now this left a lot of map makers very very sad and that's me strictly speaking to broadbent as a map creator in title update 25 he was hoping to see the introduction of the void again now the void basically is where you fall to your death um, once you break that last right layer of bedrock on minecraft console you can remove this last layer of bedrock if you do it by modding it however the last layer doesn't kill you at all and you don't fall continuously to your death it literally means you fall on an empty block kind of thing. And I really don't know why it wasn't removed. Um, I hope it will be introduced. Again, it would be great for map makers. What the, what the void is, is when you go to the end, for example, and you jump off or you get hit off completely off the island, 
and you fall to your death and it instantly kills you. You've got no way of surviving at all. Um, so they did remove the void. There was no explanation as why they removed it. I don't know if it was due to lag or to due to internal stuff. But yeah, they actually did remove the void in a very old update. The final one in today's video, the fifth one, is actually to do with the spawn limit on Minecraft Console Edition. We actually have a spawn cap and you will see it in this video. Once you spawn a number amount of animals, you can't spawn anymore without killing a different mob. Now this is very frustrating because on Minecraft Pocket Edition and Minecraft PC, you can spawn infinite amount of mobs which is specifically good for XP farms however on Minecraft console edition it's very limited but I did notice in the nether if you go to the nether the mob spawning rate in the nether is 10 times better in the nether than it is in the overworld I don't know if the nether does affect the overworld but specifically on Minecraft Xbox one and PlayStation 4 I definitely think it's able to cope with infinite spawning if not definitely triple the amount of mobs that we are able to spawn so i thought this video would be a little bit interesting for you guys to kind of know a little bit more insight on things that we don't have that have been removed and overall my big question is why aren't they there why haven't they been added we've never really had any in-depth discussion or should i say in-depth answers from 4j microsoft or mojang maybe 4j will watch this video and think these type of feature features should be added or should have already never been removed so i've been echo if you did enjoy it be Shut up, thumbs it up. We'll be back later with another Minecraft Prisons episode. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!